lovelies, this is Megan from Little Hot Tamale, and today we're making library pockets. Today I'm using a template that I created, and I have one provided for you guys in the description of this video. So you can just go print it and get started. Okay, so I just cut it out and then I traced it on some cardstock. And then you're just going to fold over the edges to the back side. Now I like to glue it on the back side because it makes it so much easier to slip the library card in and out of the pocket. And then because the pattern paper only has a pattern on one side, I'm going to cut a square that is slightly smaller than the front and gluing it on there. Now you don't have to add extra pattern paper to it, but I like the look of it. Now if you don't have pattern paper, you can always use watercolor on it, or markers, anything that you want. And like I said earlier, I'm just going to glue the little tabs on the back side. And on the corners, I like to have them rounded. So you can use a washi tape roll and then trace around the edge and cut it out, or you can use a corner rounder. And then these are the library cards that I have for you guys that coordinate perfectly with the pockets. And there's two different sizes. And I just printed them on colored cardstock. Okay, so now I'm using some paint and it's just apple barrel paint that you can find at most craft stores. And then the colored part is actually Heidi Swap Color Shine. And I just used my paintbrush to spread it onto my paper. And then for the white polka dots, I used the other side of my paintbrush and just dipped it in my paint. And of course, I am using a doily because I love doilies. <laughs> this gives your projects a nice little soft touch and gives it some extra texture. And then some washi strips. And I like to use different sizes. Now, if you only have wide washi tape, you can always cut it in half, and I did that. And it kind of gives it a nice balance. Something fun you can do with your washi is overlap the different sizes. And I really like that because it kind of gives it a carefree look. And then the main embellishment that we're using on the page is the lemon slice. And I have a tutorial on how to create those. It's just a fun little draw with me tutorial. And then for this I'm using some Crepe paper and I just put some terrifically tacky tape down and then try to do a little ruffle with the crepe paper. And this is the lemon slice. And for this one I used acrylic paint instead of colored pencils. And for this project I pulled out some of my stamps because I love using my stamps but sometimes I forget to utilize them. And I just stamped out the word yum because it's kind of like a fun summer theme one. Kind of imagine a lemonade stand. <laughs> so I just cut around each letter, try to get it really close to the actual letter. And then I use some mounting tape, and you can find this at Walmart. All right, so now it's time for the glitter. <laughs> So I'm using glossy accents. This is my favorite adhesive for glitter because usually when it dries, the glitter doesn't really come off. So that is a plus. So I'm just placing it here and there, mostly around the cluster that I created toward the bottom where the lemon is and then where the washi clusters are. A few sequin stars and I bought these at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so now we're going to make a miniature one. The template actually works for Project Life, but I'm going to show you how you can alter it so that it will fit a pocket letter. To mark three and a half inches from the two top corners. And then you're going to draw a line from both points and then you're going to cut on that line. And that will be one part of your pattern and then the bottom half will be the other part of the pattern. Now it will be the perfect size for your pocket letters. And as an added bonus, we can use our awesome Project Life cards to create our mini library pockets. 
So I just pulled a few cards that I really liked, and I especially like this one because it said my thoughts at the top. So I made sure that was at the very tippy top so that it would show when I put the card inside of the pocket. And then, okay, for this one, for the bottom half, I recommend making the tabs a little bit longer because if you're using Project Live cards, especially the older version, the cards are a lot thicker or heavier, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to fold the paper. You will have a little bit of extra paper to glue on the back, but if you're using lightweight paper, you won't have a problem. Okay, so I'm just folding the paper, getting it prepped, and then I'm still prepping it. <laughs> I'm just pointing out that I should have made it longer. <laughs> This is actually my first time making them with Project Life cards. And a little bit of tacky glue on the back. And just a tiny bit on the sides because they're so small. <laughs> like I said, if you have longer tabs, it will be so much easier. And just hold on to it for a little while until it dries. And then round the corners, but you don't have to if you don't want to. And then some washi strips here and there. And then a cute little roller skate, and I just fussy cut this from paper. And if you don't know what fussy cutting means, I just, just cut around the image from scrapbook paper. And some white paint here and there. I love doing this, it gives it a nice little touch. Okay, so now we're using tool. And I'm just cutting it in a little strip, and then tiny strips. Now it can be kind of a pain to get them stuck to the paper, so I'm using terrifically tacky tape and then I'm using, on top of that, some glossy accents to glue the roller skate on. So now I know that it's not going anywhere. <laughs> and then a little bit of glossy accents here and there for the glitter and of course some star sequins the sequins on the pocket to make your eyes bounce from corner to middle to the bottom. And then back to the large pocket, I'm using a cute little bow paper clip and I have a tutorial for that. And the little one just needed something extra so I'm using a star punch. And keep in mind if you're having your embellishments hang off the sides that it stays under two and a half inches so that it will fit in your pocket letter. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it because I had a blast making them. If you decide to make a few, please use the hashtag LittleHotTamale on Instagram because I would love to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Toodles!